What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. PNW Card Collector here back with another video for you. And today is mail day. I've um, got uh, three things here. The little little package here. Um, I got this is actually from a break I was involved in on um, that I bought into off of eBay. Um, I, I cannot remember the. I, I don't remember if it was Gypsy Queen or what product it was. So we'll have to. We'll be surprised here in a few minutes when we open that up. Um, I, I think it was Gypsy Queen, but I'm not positive. Uh, this and these other two packages are from a couple of buddies of mine on the on the Bay City Break page that I'm in. Um, there's the the break page and then there's the bay city football um buy sell trade which they're it it says football but they're actually starting to do more you know a little more baseball a little more basketball here there they do uh you know jersey stuff things like that also on the break page and then in the buy sell trade page or trade page they're also doing a little more multi-sport as well um, and i will post links in the description to find both of those uh, the break page and the football page or the uh, buy sell trade page rather uh, down here in the description but let's get into these i am going to so this one is from uh, nick clark this one this big one here is from robert coleman so i am going to actually because that box is so big i'm going to have to move it off to the side for a minute we'll get these smaller ones open and then we'll open the bigger box. So let me get that moved real fast. Okay. Let's do this small one first. Again, this was a break that I was involved in. Um, I think it was Gypsy Queen, 2020 Gypsy Queen, if I remember correctly. Um, and then I also believe, I don't think, if I remember right, anyway, I don't think you got all the cards from the break. I don't think you got the base cards. I think the the base, if this is the one I'm thinking of, um, the base actually, they donate to uh, kids who are just getting into the sport. So you only got the hits and stuff, if this is the break I'm thinking of. Um, so hits included, let's see here. This probably is a packing slip of some sort. Um, hits included... Uh, you know, uh, missing nameplates, things like that. So, yeah, Gypsy Queen. This is a five or a five box half case break, and I had the Padres for that one. And this was actually out of Canada, is where this company was located. So it took a little while to get here, but they did show up. So, yeah, I got uh, France, Thai France. And that one's numbered out of one fifty, and then. All of these guys in here again I don't I think if I remember correctly base did not ship but they may have decided to ship base too it looks like they shipped the base I didn't think they were supposed to that's kind of a cool top loader that's got to be a man what is that a well, I have a gauge here let's find out that's a 360 point wow I don't have any of those I'll, I'll hang on to that I don't know that I have any cards that are that thick right now, but eventually I might get a hold of something that's that thick. So, in with the uh, fortune teller card here, it's a Tatis. It's a nice fortune teller. It's not numbered, but it's cool. With a Munoz, another Munoz, Morjan, Baez, Baez, Munoz, uh, Morjan, again. So really when you buy into these you're you're buying in just to try and get the hits you know the autographs that come out of the box there's a Baez and a Grisham and I don't think I'm sure none of these are bazooka backs yeah no no bazooka backs and these are all base I thought they were donating the base but that's cool anyways so nothing nothing major out of there the the one I guess the the hit, if you want to call it a hit, would be the Ty Francis numbered out of 150, number 40 of 150, and then the Tatis card. So again, nothing major, but it was a fun break. 
All right, now we'll get on to this package here from Mr. Nick Clark, Nicholas. Let's see if I can get this open without using my knife. There we go. And these are cards that I bought from Nick. There's a whole bunch of them. Maybe if I can get them out of there. There we go. All right, let's check these out real quick. Maybe. Good job, Nick, on wrapping these up. Make me struggle on camera, I appreciate it. <laughs> I definitely appreciate them being protected though. Oh, that side was already undone. Whoops. You know, I, I've i thought about in the past, I've thought about before I do the videos, opening the packages, um, you know, and, and getting them prepped, but at the same time, I don't want people to think I'm stuffing extra stuff in the packages by opening them, you know, it's, plus I, you know, it's, it's more added surprise when I open them myself, so, uh, That's why I don't open them, you know, prior. I have thought about it, but I just, I don't think, I don't know, I just don't think it would, uh, I, I think it's better for video purposes if I don't. Now all of these, if I remember correctly, all of these are either autographs or memorabilia cards. Um, or numbered cards. I think they're all autos or mem memorabilia cards though. That's a lot of tape. A lot of blue tape. And the last one here. Let's do it this way. Alright. There's a whole bunch of those ones. Those. And last stack here. See if I can't get this torn apart real quick. Hope everybody's having a good day today. Hope you guys are all staying healthy, staying safe, enjoying life. Now most of these cards, uh, the same with the other box that I put off to the side, most of these cards I will use, I'm going to start putting together repack boxes. That's my plan anyway. Let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in something like that. Um, but you know, I'm kind of thinking about doing like subscription type boxes or, or repack boxes of of cards, you know, packs and whatnot. And these would be, you know, some of the hits that could be found in those. That's what I purchased them for originally, or initially anyway. So we got Carl Crawford um, out of Allen and Ginter bat card. There's a John Smoltz relic, uh, Jersey relic, Garrett Anderson relic, another Garrett Anderson, two of those. And there's the Orioles, Dual Swatch Memorabilia, Nick Markakis, and Melvin Mora. It's a cool card there. I'm going to adjust this camera up just a hair. See if that will help a little bit. Uh, and there's a Quad Relic, Randy Johnson, Connor Jackson, Chad Billingsley, and James Loney. There's a Dual, Troy Tulowitzki and J.J. Hardy. Another Dual of Kenji Jojima. And Jason Veritek. Quad, Curtis Granderson, Raphael for Call, Ricky Weeks, and Derek Jeter. That's a cool card. Just, you know, for the uh, 
Jeter alone. Uh, Manny Ramirez, Megley Ordonez, Josh Willing, uh, Willingham, and Pat Burrell. Mark Mulder, Albert Pujols, Megley Ordonez, and Yvonne Rodriguez. Pudge, another quad swatch. Um, Prince Fielder, Ben Sheets, James Loney, and Matt Kemp. And then Manny Ramirez, Pat Burrell, Vladdy uh, Sr., and Albert Pujols. I don't believe, I'll have to look at the backs of these, but I don't believe any of these are numbered. Doesn't look like it. But they're cool cards anyway. Um, and these are from, looks like, is it 2008? I believe 2008 upper deck. It's kind of tough to read down there in the bottom corner. Back then, this is all back before Tops and Bowman had the rights for all the um, or the licensing for all the team names so you got uh, this is from 2008 Alan and Ginter, Todd Helton, Roy Oswalt um, JD Drew and Jay Gibbons and got a couple of autographs here, Steve Garrison there's a Felipe Valaket number 90 of 99 triple relic there Steve Garrison, not numbered. And then Chris Marrero from the Nationals, autograph there. Cool card, not numbered. And then in this pile here, we got Jonathan Gilmore, Bowman Chrome. It's a first Bowman, Jonathan Gilmore. Clayton Mortensen, first Bowman, auto. Matt Bush, draft pick, and that one's numbered. It's kind of hard to read, but right down here see if I can get the light to hit that just right it's 222 out of 1100 there you go uh, here's a extra edition Danny Rams and that one's 475 of 594 Bowman Sterling Ross Detweiler it's a cool one uh, not numbered and then a Chris Vines um, Bowman Chrome certified autograph. First year, Bowman first year. And that one's numbered 201 out of 225. So those are all courtesy of Sir Nick Clark. Cool, uh, cool cards there. And now we'll get on to the box. open real quick and take a look if I can do so without knocking the camera over I might have to move you guys up to the side for a moment I'll reposition that camera in just a second all right That maybe I should have opened the box and then just set those on the screen. I wasn't sure how they were packaged, so all right, let's get that camera moved back over. And by camera, I mean phone. All right, so there's two packages here of cards, and see if I can't get these opened up. Again, this is from Robert Coleman. So there's a ton of cards in here. This, I believe, most probably mostly football. There might be baseball in here too. I cannot remember exactly. All right, so let's just start with this stack here real quick. We got uh, Press Pass Game Day Gallery, Jeff Matthews. Some sticky residue on the front there. Josh Harper, autograph. Not numbered. Neither one of those are numbered. All right. 
So we got uh, Tyler uh, Bidas, rookie autograph from Hit. Kelly Brandt from Hit as well. Here's a one of ninety or ten of ninety nine, number ten of ninety nine playoff ticket. Rookie Chester Rogers autograph. Tops Platinum, John Skelton, five nineteen of nine ninety nine. Zach Cunningham, and that one is 149 of 199. There's a Justice Hansen prism, not numbered. Bishop Sansky, or Sanky. There's Emmanuel Ogba, Ogba, from Draft Picks. There's a Mike Davis auto. Um, this one is. Kyle McCarthy, it's autographed and hand numbered 54 of 250. This one's kind of cool. This is a prominence. Um, Chris Gregg, and that's numbered 159 of 225. Rated rookie patch auto from prominence of Chris Gregg again, 118 of 225. And Ricky Seals Jones auto. From Don Ross Elite. And then we got this uh, draft patch here of Josh Doxson. There's a leaf draft. Uh, Owamge. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Uh, it looks like he kind of went a little overboard when he was autographing that sticker. It is a sticker autograph, so part of that obviously is off up here and off down here and then back off up there again. And Joe Flacco. Um, Patch, Brandon Marshall, rookie patch. There's a TJ Hausman. Yep, Hausman Zeta, I guess. Patch, Max Williams, and it's a patch there. Uh, and that was numbered, I guess. Uh, 119 of 299. Are these numbered on the back? They are. 17 of 250. This one is unnumbered, okay? And then Niall Lawrence Stample from Draft Picks, not numbered. But again, cool cards. Uh, and these were purchased with the intent of, you know, resale and whatnot of, uh, or not really resale, but they'll be put into repack boxes. There's a Colt McCoy, Jamal Charles, and Jordan Shipley. 23 of 36 from Triple Threads. That's a cool one there. The gold prospecting. Uh, black gold. Corey Coleman. It's a quad. Looks like quad relic. Uh, 184 of 199. That's a cool card. Ar Ardarius Stewart. Um, New York Jets patch. Buck Allen. From Contenders. Rookie ticket patch. And Dunta Robinson. Um, there's a looks like jersey and football patch there for relic. And let's see here. Did I miss any numbers on any of those? I don't think so. Okay, so last package here. I, th I think this was probably all football. I think Robert's mainly a football guy. I could be wrong. All right. Let's check this last stack out here. I do thank everybody for watching. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right. So we got Mac Brown autograph. There's a uh, Felton Davis the third auto. Deveris uh, Daniels autograph. I should probably be checking these for numbers. I don't know that those were numbered though. There's a Titus Davis. Uh, R Bronson Kaufusi from Elite. Not numbered. Jacques Patrick from Prism. There's Devon Street, and that's from Signature. 
the stack's going to topple over. Um, Carlos Rogers. It looks like it says Cobb. Uh, Carlos Rogers, rookie debut from Upper Deck. There's a, a Tyree Brady prism. Daryl Strong. And that one's numbered 25 of 250. There's Carlos Williams um, patch. Not numbered. There's a Bazooka All Stars. That's kind of cool. Keith Bullock. What's that? What year's that from? 2004 tops. That's kind of cool though. And then uh, rookie phenom Paul Perkins patch with the red foil. Here's from Absolute. We got Ito Smith patch there. Got Cord uh, Cordarell Patterson. 273 of 299 patch. Big old patch there. Um, this one is Jamon Moore patch, and that one not numbered. There's a Carlos Henderson rookie threads from the Broncos, not numbered there. Uh, rookie threads Zay Jones, uh, Ardarius Stewart patch, and Davis Webb patch. And then we got from Prestige 2014 Chris Smith Auto. Uh, Tyler Bray Rookie Auto, and that's numbered 42 of 99 from Crown. It's a cool die cut Crown card. Rookie Autograph of Zane Gonzalez from Hit. Then the last few cards here we got uh, Jamison Crowder from Topps Chrome. Not numbered. Cool card, though. Rookies and Stars. Uh, Matt Ryan, Tevin Coleman. Uh, unnumbered. Rookie Phenom, Kiki Cootie. From Optic. And then Jalen Strong. Uh, patch. Rookie patch there. So, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you liked looking at all the autographs and patches and... You know, I guess a uh, huge hit collection, we'll call it. Um, again, I don't I don't know that any of these are worth a fortune. Um, you know, I think, honestly, I think I paid a buck a piece for all these, or maybe a little less than a buck a piece for all these. So, um, and, and I, again, I plan on putting them in repack boxes. So these are some of the things you can expect, you know, if, if you do, or if you are interested in those repack boxes. These are some of the things you can expect in those. I've got other, a lot of other cards that I'll be putting in those repack boxes as well. Um, I am thinking, and, and let me know in the comments below what you would like to see. I'm thinking I might do some repack that are multi-sport. I might do some that are strictly football, strictly baseball. Um, I don't have much basketball, so I probably won't do any uh, or, or very few with it just you know, just basketball, but I do have some basketball cards that I could throw into multi-sport. Um, I don't know that I have any big hits for basketball. I do have some Jordan cards and things like that that I could throw in there. Um, I know Jordan cards have been going up quite a bit lately, so um, that is something I could think about. But let me know in the comments below what you think, uh, what you would like to see maybe in the in a repack box. Um, if you'd rather see just single sport or multi-sport or what. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below. I do appreciate you guys for watching, and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.